You guys, what's up? Bringing you a new video with a new class setup. Um, this has definitely brought some attention to once I started using this gun. I tried this new barrel for it, and it makes it like a submachine gun. It's the Gyru, uh, the 5.56 assault rifle. Um, they gave this one out, I think, in season, season one. Um, it's 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 weird how it handles. It's an assault rifle, obviously, but the way you have it set up is a submachine gun. Obviously, I'll show you the class setup after this uh, clip. Um, I, I think it's really unique. I have, I'm going to try something like this in Hardcore and uh, Warzone as well. Um, I think this is probably going to be a new weapon to be using for, for pretty much all modes. Um, the weapon's already really good, um, but I think in these other modes it's going to be even better, especially Hardcore. Um, it's about smaller than small it is, and it's already an assault rifle, like I said, so it's got that 5.56 capability. Um, and it handles like an assault rifle, but you're using like a submachine gun, if that makes sense. Um, like I said, you'll see it in the, the clip. I have where I uh, show you the whole class setup. And it's not just the primary two, it's the secondary. Uh, the 357 Akimbos with the snake shot are amazing at close range. When you run out of ammo, which you do a lot with this weapon, um, you just switch to those and then you have those two little like shotguns basically in your hands. Uh, I know they nerfed them a few weeks ago, but they're still really, really good. It's just two shots to kill at close range, and that's really what this class is for, is to be using it at close range. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's not the start of the, the start rifle, it's also the, for the sidearms. Alright, so the class setup for this one, uh, I'll show you here. Um, I use one of my Warzone classes, so don't worry about the lethal and the tactical, but um, it's the, the Gryu, the 5.56 assault rifle. Um, and this is, what's special about this is you can put the shortest barrel of any assault rifle on here. So it's still an assault rifle, but it, it functions like a submachine gun. Um, so the barrel is the first one you unlock actually, it's the Drifter uh, A08. Uh, it makes it extremely small. Attack laser for the aim down sight speed, aim stability. Um, optic, really, it's up to you. Um, there's a clip, of, I had a candid sight in there on one of the clips, but I thought this one's a little bit better, this reflex sight, but there's like 10 different reflex sights. Um, I just prefer this one out of all of them. Uh, no stock, obviously, to make it shorter. Ammunition, 60 rounds. Um, and this is what your five attachments will be for this. It makes it insanely small. It makes it crazy how, how you can do this to one of the assault rifles. I think the, each uh, assault rifle should have an option to do this to. Uh, the secondary is the Akimbo 357s, which are... They, I know they fixed them a few months, not months, but weeks ago, but it's still a pretty good weapon. Um, Akimbo, snake shot, lightweight trigger, the laser, and the compensator. Um, really, really good close range when you run out of ammo and you're, you can't really reload, but you just pull these out and you still have 12 shots left. Uh, perk scavenger, because you do run out of ammo, run out of ammo a lot um, for that assault rifle. You run out pretty fast. Uh, lethal, I guess, or my bad, uh, ghost and amps, those are the two I run. But uh, lethal, I said, C4, and then the tactical for the heartbeat. Um, those are my war zone class setup, so I probably could just change the tactical to really whatever I want. Probably if I was playing hardcore stem or probably just like normal flash for normal core uh, game modes and C4, I'm just I like the C4. Ah, Charlie secure. Halfway there, step it up. <laughs> 